Yeah, hello again. After yesterday's video, I discovered another neat trick about Bitwig and the, um, and the chain device. And um, this is exactly like yesterday. I have a chain device, and inside the chain device, I have a test tone. And the test tone is uh, modulated by the LFO. And the test tone is generating a tone, and the tone is triggering the replacer, and the replacer is gener generating a MIDI note or note informations and then this is um, piped into polysynth and the polysynth is playing uh, the note so this is exactly like, like yesterday um, and the thing i discovered is that you can um, drag the polysynth out of the replacer and the chain device afterwards and it still gets the note information from inside the replacer um, maybe this is a bug, maybe not, I, I don't know, but currently this is working. So um, you can collapse the chain device and then you have a neat little uh, MIDI preset or yeah, um, separate um, device to generate your MIDI notes and then you can place your instruments after the chain device and still get all MIDI informations or transformations. So this is pretty interesting and maybe helpful in some cases. So try this out. And um, after I discovered this, I of course um, started another device and tried something out. So let's um, let's have a look. So this is the device I created with the chain device, and it's an eight-step sequencer. And um, after the chain device, there is a polysynth. And inside here, I create all the notes. And as you can see, I can change pitch for every step. I can change the chord mode from major to minor. Uh, I can deactivate the chord, so I have a melody line. This device is um, created by um, some step mods inside here and if you change everything from transport to node on every node mod then you can Then you can trigger this with the keyboard. So every time you press um, a button on... So every time you press a key on your keyboard um, you trigger the sequence from the start. It's maybe it's interesting for finding melody lines or chord progressions. I don't know. I've done this just for fun, and I want to share it with you. So you find the link in the description. You can download it. It's not ready. It's not finished. It's it's just an experiment. So um, yeah, have fun with it. And um, yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Until next time, see you and bye.